Hi, I'm John of John's Carnivorous Plants, and today is going to be a relatively short video about utricularia smells. Now, I am unfortunately one of the few people in the world to have had so many utricularia that I've noticed their scent. So, very rarely with utricularia that are incredibly healthy and in a very, very vigorous bloom, you can catch very, very specific and distinct scents from the flowers if you get yourself close enough. I noticed this first with Blanchetti Eye whenever I was packing up uh, one that was like in full bloom. So it had a bunch of flowers going on. Smelt very, very specifically like vanilla. Blew my mind. And then from there, I was going around sniffing every eutrichial area that I have flowering. And to this day, anytime I see any of my eutrichs flowering, I go up and take a whiff and try to note whatever scent I get. Now, their smells are very fleeting, they're not around for very long, and frankly, unless you have a bunch blooming at once, it can even be hard to detect them to begin with. I suspect this is on how Utricularia species, like some of them, are pollinated, is that they're attracting their pollinator via scent. And it's just very strange because, like for example, Cornuta, very musky, smells nothing like Blanchetti. And then there's a couple other ones that, uh, I got a list somewhere I got to pull up. I should pull it up for this video, but they all have very varying levels of smell. And then like epiphytic species, I haven't really noticed a scent from at all. So it's very strange that some of them have smell, some of them don't. And it's one of those things that I wanted to bring up and like honestly ask you guys, my viewers, if you've ever noticed utricularia smells or scents, Please like put it in the comments. Let me know. I really would like to know what people are detecting whenever they smell this. And I hope to bring up the topic more for you, the growers, to uh, discuss. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you like and subscribe for more carnivorous plant content. And I'll catch you on the next one.